everybody. I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are our, our family, family game. game. Yay! Uh, and we are back. 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 Yes. Back. Last week. Yes. We were in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines. And you gotta make sure you gotta keep the S's off. Yes. Like I was told, because I was yes. still saying Des Moines. And, and they like, no, keep the S's silent. Well, you know, they have a billboard that says yes, the S's that are, are silent. silent. And then I was told by some residents, oh, the S's are silent, S's please. Are silent. I'm like, I'm sorry. Y'all got a messed up name. <laughs> it's not messed up. It's messed up. Des Confusing Des Moines, me. Iowa. And we had some But it was nice. Fun. It's a nice town. It's a beautiful town. It's a town. beautiful town. We enjoyed ourselves. The weather was awesome. And, and it was a, such a cool vibe. Yeah. Such a cool vibe in yeah. that town. Yeah. And, and we really enjoyed it. We really had a wonderful time. So many time. art sculptures. Yes. I love seeing the sculptures. There's sculptures everywhere. I love seeing the sculptures. And mules on the wall. Mules. It's really cool. Really nice. Really we can't cool. wait to go back again. Yes, yes, Maybe we yes. can get a chance to tour a little bit more. Tour a little bit and more. see more of the city. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, but we are back at our home base. Yes. In Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha. <laughs> yeah. And this week, mm -hmm. we want to talk about some of the games yes. that we played recently. Because we played a lot of games, because you know, we all know mm -hmm. that Gen Con is going right yes, now, and yes. we're not there. Nope. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, we played a few games that have been coming out of Gen mm -hmm. Con. We've seen that getting a lot yes. of pub, so definitely excited to talk about those. Yeah, we had a yes, chance to yes. play some games at the con last week. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Yes, got a lot to talk yes. about. Yes, yes, yes. But before we get uh -oh. into all of that, here we go. We want to hear a word from our sponsors. Yes, yes, yes. KTBG. Yes. And our newest sponsor, Woo! Catan Studio. Yes, Catan right. Studio. Check it out. We'll be right back. All right. When you think of fun, think of KTBG. Kids Table Board Gaming spells fun for the entire family. Make your family game night something everyone will look forward to. Delight your friends and family with games from Kids Table Board Gaming, such as Rec Raiders, Fossilus, Creature Comforts, and Power Plants. Their games offer quality components, they are colorful and easy to learn. Check out their complete catalog at kidstablebg.com. Catan Studio develops and publishes Catan Games, the world's preeminent analog game brand. Their games are enduring, consistent, high quality, and yes, family friendly. Catan strives to nurture a community of gamers that are positive, inclusive, and diverse. Their core values and Klaus Tuber's vision remain at the foundation of all Catan content. To learn more, visit CatanStudio.com and to check out some of their awesome games and merch, visit CatanShop.com. Yes! It's table Board Gaming. Yes! And Catan Studio! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What's your both at Gen Con? Yes, both at, Gen, both Con. at Gen Con. Looking yeah. good Looking at Gen great. Con. Yes. Now, you know, with KTBG, mm -hmm. love them, longtime sponsors, love them, love them, love them. <laughs> they were selling and just basically mm -hmm. selling out of selling all the games. Out of everything. They had power plants there. Power plants. And we hope we can see that on the table one day. Can't <laughs> wait to get that. But, you know, they were really selling it out. Mm -hmm. and, and I heard great things from mm -hmm. social media about, you know, they were demoing Maple Valley. Maple Valley. And a lot of people were really loving it. And yes. that's really cool because they said a lot of the spirit of Creature Comforts was in that game. Yes. So I'm excited to see that Me too. Me too. Yes, I'm so excited. Yes, and yes, Catan yes. Studio. Oh, Catan. Catan Studio. <laughs> now, now, family, you know how special mm -hmm. Catan Studio you know, is to this family. Yes. Because without Catan, we would have never got into I this. I don't think we would have been in we this We would have never got into yeah, this. Yeah, that, I mean, that was the game. That was the game that just yes. made us just like, oh my Lord, this my is how blown. this is how games, you know, mm -hmm. now play. Mm -hmm. And without Catan, yes. 
And but when we got it, it yeah. was settlers. It was of settlers Catan, of Catan. But now it's Catan Studio. Yes, now it's now it's fancy with Catan. <laughs> it's Catan. <laughs> but you know, if we didn't have that, I think it'd been a long time if yeah, ever we got it. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we would have found another game. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Uh, Cause the first one you brought home, I really didn't did care like, for. Did but like. when we put Katan on the table, we were like, Wait a it minute. was a game changer. What? For us. The, wait, what? Yes, mm-hmm. it's other games like this out there. <laughs> so, so you know that is that's why Katan has been and will always be special in our hearts. Yes, I mean, near always. and dear. Yes. Near and that's dear. why you see all the games of Catan <laughs> near us because yeah. we love them all. So, But Catan yeah. right now is bringing out another game. Oh, yes. Yes. It is an upgrade or a reboot yes. of one that we already had. Yes. And this one is Dawn of Humankind. It's a reprint of Settlers of the Stone, of the Stone Age. Age. Now, family, let me tell you. We did an interview mm-hmm. With uh, uh, we did an interview with someone that was doing interviews for Catan, mm-hmm. yep. and we were able to play with some, you know, Catan folk. Yes. And one of them was the designer, Mr. Tuber. Yes. The, the son of uh, Klaus yeah, Tuber. Yeah. The son of Klaus Tuber. Yes. We played with him. Now during the play and stuff, we would, you know, tell how much we really loved a lot yeah. of the games, and we said the settler of the Stone Age we really did mm-hmm. like. We did. And we would love to see a reprint. Now, family, you would have saw those faces of them <laughs> folk. They kind of was like, uh, you know, they were kind of like, and I was like, wait a minute, why are you doing all that? Why are they kind of looking at each other and all this stuff? Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, mm-hmm. here's the reprint, the yes. reboot, and we are so excited for it. Yes. yes. But Dawn of Humankind yes. is going to be this great reboot of yes. Settlers of the Stone Age. Yes. They have some sculpted figures oh, in the game. I'm excited. You know, it, it has that same Catan feel, yes. that historic feel that you yes. love about Catan. Yes. But they just redid it and made it bigger and better and I cannot wait to I see it. I cannot wait. So it's coming to retail mm-hmm. October 1st. Mm-hmm. It's coming to your friendly neighborhood, local yes. game store, and, and also Target. Target, <laughs> Target doing their thing. It will be at Target. Target doing their thing. So we are so excited to see yes. that. So if you want something yes. different, a yes. Different uh, view of Catan. Yes. Try Dawn of Humankind. Yes, and we, we love Settlers of the Stone yeah, Age. We love Settlers of the Stone Age, so mm-hmm. we cannot wait for this. Yes. Yes, yes, we cannot wait. So again, welcome aboard Catan Studios. Welcome aboard. Studio, and we, we love, love y'all. Ta- we love Man. having you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, so now this week. Yes. There is no weight loss journey. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. no, yeah. Yeah, we, we yeah. missed our way in this morning. Because I mean, <laughs> we kind of we kind of went a little crazy in Des Moines. <sighs> We kind yeah, of look crazy yeah, in Des Moines. We, we, we need an extra week just to kind of maybe fix this. Listen, family. <laughs> listen, family. We never went to a, what is that, a Wahlburgers? What is that, Wahlburger? Wahlburger. Wahlburger. We never, because it's owned by the, Wahl, uh, yeah. the Wahlburg family. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we never made it to one. We haven't seen one. So, Starla saw one in Des Moines, <laughs> and we stopped there mm-hmm. and ate, and it was good. It was great. It was good. It was good. So, we won't talk about all the stuff we no. ate. No, we, we ate But really we will good. say that we'll have an update on the weight loss journey. Yes. Next time. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So next up, Mick is Ask or PG. All right, Mick, what questions do we have this week? Okay, we got a few. Okay. Because we're going to keep answering questions that we got from Cardboard Caucus mm-hmm. Live. Yes. You know, our last show. Mm-hmm. And we got a lot of questions, so we're going to try to keep, you know, doing those. Okay, let's Because do we it. got a couple of shows we're going to be doing that. Yeah. All right, so I got four here. Four. Four. Okay. Yes, four. We had a <laughs> lot of questions come through. Let's do All it. All right, so it's from Cora Lou. Hi, Cora Hey, Cora Lou. <laughs> She's always there. I love her, love her. All right, she asked, what creature... Would you love to see included in a game that you haven't seen yet? Oh, wow. That's a good Creature. One. Creature. Creature. Hmm. We've seen a lot of creatures. We've seen a lot. I mean, you got Ark Nova out there. Yeah, we've seen you all You got the Meadow animals. out there. Wild Serengeti. Serengeti. Yeah, we've seen You got a lot. a lot of creatures. Creature Comforts. Creature Comforts. Everdale. <laughs> we got creatures. You know, because I could go with fish, but I've seen some fish games yeah. out there, too. Yeah. Koaku with the uh, yeah. koi fish. I mean, I don't know. Catfish. I've seen that in the mm-hmm. Louisiana thing. I think it was yeah, one. Yeah, we got cat lady, dog yeah. lover. I mean, we got so many games with creatures. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think. Because, I mean, Creature. even. Creature. 
And then if you go fantasy, they got they got that covered yeah. too, almost. Yeah. yeah. That's a good question, but yeah. I think we've seen. We've seen mostly all of them. Yeah. Now a game I would love to see. You know how you know that that reality show where mm -hmm. those 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 fishermen go out and they go in those dangerous waters in Alaska. Oh, like with the deadliest catch. Yeah, type deadliest thing. catch. Now I would like to see a game on that. I haven't seen really a game going on a daily catch, you know, almost ready to die, trying to catch fish and stuff. That would be pretty cool. You think so? Yeah, it would be cool. But I, I think some of those fish out there would be in there, you know. I, I can't know. think of any creatures no, that no. we haven't seen thus far. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. meadow, you meadow, got beautiful Meadow creatures. covers a bunch. I, yeah, I mean, good question, but yeah. I think we've seen quite a few. Yeah, yeah. We've, <laughs> we've seen we, quite a few. We've covered the gamut. Woo, it's a lot. It's a lot. Of, of the yes. wild kingdom, animal yes. kingdom. <laughs> We've talked about yeah. the gamut of Now, Kingdom. family, if you can think of some, let us let know. Let us know. Yeah, let us know in the yes. comments. Let us know in the comments. I mean, first think, thing oh. I thought about was penguins. Yeah. But we have penguins in what is Happy Pigs. Yeah. But they have a penguin edition. Yeah, yeah, I got a penguin, yeah. but you know, they so, kind of square like though. Penguins. They square though. Yeah, well, that's the pigs are square. Yeah, the pigs are square yeah. too. Yeah. And then of course you, you got Agricola. I mean, we got animals yeah. for days. They, they animals yeah. for days. Yeah, that's a good one though. That's yeah, that's a good one. Thank you, Coral Lou. Thank you. Okay, from our regular family, our regular RPG family, from Michael and Haley. Hi, Michael and yeah. Haley. They were at the show. Uh, they said, did you bring any games with you to the con? And yes, we did. Yes. Yes, we did. We brought Morano. We haven't Marana. played it. We didn't get a chance to play it. Didn't get a chance but to play it. We're gonna try that one mm -hmm. out. We always take on the road mm -hmm. the Great Heartland uh, Harley Harley. Company. We but always we take that. We didn't get a chance to play it. We didn't get a chance to play no, that. No, we didn't. One. We even took uh, Kate May from Thunderworks Studios. Yep. But didn't we didn't get a chance to play that we either. We didn't play that either. We played no. other stuff. Uh, Thunderworks games, I think. Yeah. yeah, but we didn't get play. We didn't play that one either. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the ones that we took. We didn't, we didn't play. But we, didn't play. we always take something. We always take something. Yes. But we're, we're hoping that we get to try stuff at the cons. Yeah. You know, new or just play with, you know, old ones that we haven't mm -hmm. played in a long time. Yeah. Something and that's old what, that's new Yeah, to us. and that's what we did. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. We did I mean, when that. we go to a con and they've got a, a board game library. Yes. You know, like the board game wagon. Yeah. You really don't have to have any games. No, not really. So, yeah. We just took it in, just in we case just like in we case. always do. Like we you always know, do. You know, but yeah, we did take some games. Yes, we did. All right, Michael Haley, thank you so much. Keep in Keep coming, keep coming. All right, so Kabuki Kid, hey Hi, Kabuki, Kabuki Kid, Kid. love her, love her too. Uh, she asked, "Do you bring any? Uh, do you bring any games to cons, or do you depend on the library or others to play games?" And I have to say, that's all three. We do well, all three. We, well, we just answered that question. Yes, all three. Yes, yeah, all we, three. We take games. Yes, and then like we said, we had a really great library there. And if somebody and we if somebody see have something, game, we'll play it. Because let me tell you, we were at the con and some some people were playing Stroganoff. Uh huh. You know, I knew one that we got, mm -hmm. and I really wanted, and, and it was some RPG family playing it, yeah. and I wanted to join them so bad. I didn't yeah. have time have to, time. but I did want to join them. But I, if I could have, I would have joined them playing Stroganoff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all three. You know, yeah, we we, we love all. bringing games. Yes. Uh, we hope that there's a good library. We, we use that. So. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else had a great game with them, like, you know who? Uh, it was, um, uh, what is that? Uh, Nor Jane brought Dragonwood. Yes, Nor and, Jane. And we discovered a new game. We're going to yeah, talk about it later. Talk about it. But we discovered a new a game. new game. It's older game, but it's it new, new to us. us. <laughs> yeah. New to us. So we depend on all of that. Yes, we do. All that. But thank you so much for that. Love you too. All right, last one. Last one. Last one. Uh, Lauren Wood mm -hmm. asked, would you play a war game like the Undone series by David Thompson? And now, Lauren, have you seen our episodes? Because I love the Undone series. I love it. She don't. She, so don't worry about her. Don't worry about her. But I have, I started off playing war games when I was a kid. And uh, then I love war games. I do. And Undone series is so much fun. I have all of them so far. Mm -hmm. Now I know Stalingrad is coming out soon. I'm gonna get that. I wanna play that one. And then I cannot wait until they have the Battle of Britain from Undone, where they're going into the sky. I cannot, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but I cannot wait for that. So yes, I love the Undone series. So thank you for that that question, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you. So that's all we got. All right, that's it. All we got, all yes, right. yes. So next up. Oh, 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 yes. oh, oh, we, we have got a new one. Sponsor. Yeah. Oh, and this is it's so exciting. Yes. I cannot wait for this one. Yes. So we yes, have yes. we have an episode sponsor. Yes. AEG. Yes. So check this out. Here we go. Letters of Marquis is the third saga expansion for Dead Reckoning. It contains two distinct but interconnected sets of expansion content. 
this game is a very interesting game, and that's Dead Reckoning. Yes. I mean, it was really big, had a big Kickstarter mm -hmm. last time. This is the second go round on a Kickstarter. Now it's starting August 9th. Mm -hmm. So if you missed it the first time around, come on back and you can get the base game, mm -hmm. the two other expansions that was mm -hmm. in that Kickstarter campaign the first time, mm -hmm. and then now a third a third expansion mm -hmm. that's coming, the Letters of Marquis. So, I mean, it's a very interesting where, you know, mm -hmm. the card crafting. Now, John DeClaire, he did uh, Mystic Veil. Uh -huh. I wasn't a big fan of Mystic Veil, but when I got this one, uh -huh. and you know, we got, you know, thank you AEG for giving us, you know, Dead Reckoning. Mm -hmm. I'm really a fan. I mean, I love the theme. Mm -hmm. uh, you like well, it because yes, yes. it's not co-op. <laughs> you not know, co we get to, we go we get to go after yes. each other, and yes. we like that. <laughs> and it's very unique how you know you put when you go into battle, you put the cubes in and go on that little ship. Mm -hmm. So it's a really really fun game. We're gonna we're still playing it. We're still playing yes. around with it so we can yes. you know tell you more about it. You and know, the components so, are solid. Oh, components. The, co the components are yes. really solid. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we enjoy it a lot. Again, this is going on Kickstarter. August 9th, so you get a second time around to get the whole meal deal, and then a third <laughs> expansion. So look for it, family. All right, so next up is hey, Board Game News. Yes, it gotta be. Yeah, it gotta be. News. It's me. It's me. <laughs> yeah. Mick, what do we have this week? There we go. Okay. There we go. Can we just start with the news? No. <laughs> it must be the noise. Oh. And, and then one family, one, one OPG family said to tell Grant to turn my mic off. No. <laughs> no. You're scaring animals. No, I do not care. It must go on. All it right, must what go on. We have this week? All right, here we go. Now, in the in the case of who asked for this, mm. this is this is it. Who asked? For this, okay. <laughs> Renegade Studios, we love them. We love <laughs> Renegade Studios. In 2023, they are gonna come out with the game. Get this, family, Starla. American Psycho, a killer game. Yes, American Psycho, the movie. Now, I'm gonna tell you, family, I saw this movie mm. one time, mm. and it scared the stuff out of me. It was crazy. Mm. It was crazy. Yeah, I don't know who asked for that one. It's, it's a two to five player trick taking game. Mm -hmm. A game of yuppie one, a yuppie one upmanship mm -hmm. set in the world of high stakes investment back in the 80s. Yes. Banking at Pierce and Pierce, you compare your accomplishments as you seek to obtain the most valuable assets, secure reservations mm -hmm. at the most trendiest restaurants, maintain your personal appearance, and have a better business card than your hated colleagues. You know, that's all from the movie. Mm -hmm. All the while trying to keep up your, psych your psychotic rage in check and that rising body count under control. So you're killing some folk. You're killing some folk. Yeah. So yeah, so there you go. American Psycho. The board game. The board game. The okay. A Killer game. Okay. All right, so that's coming out in 2023, family. I, I didn't know we needed yeah, that, I, but I ain't know. I don't know so where that's I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Okay, come out with the Wiz. I want to see the Wiz. That's right. I want to see the Wiz. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know the Wiz, go check it check out. Check it out. Google it. All right, so we want to say again, thanks to Cardboard Caucus for such a fun time last weekend. Yes, we had, we had so much fun. We had a great time. Thank you so much. It was a nice turnout. Yes. Uh, when we did our live show, we had yes. a really good audience. Go see it if you haven't seen yeah. our live if show. If you haven't checked it out, yes. go check it out. We had fun. Because it was just an episode. We yeah. had an episode in we there. Did, we did a live and, show and it was like episode. Yes. yes, and our live shows are going to get better and better, mm -hmm. you know, coming up. So That's it's right. going to be great. So it was a great time. So much fun. Yes. Great crowd. Mm -hmm. Great online crowd. Yes. Loved every minute yes. of it. Now, Carver Caucus gave an exclusive during our, uh, yes, during our live did. show. And they're moving back this time to October mm -hmm. 2023. So they're yes. going to be in October instead of the summer. And Carver Caucus 2023 will be the last weekend in October, right. October 27th oh. through 29th of 2023. All right, we're back to October. Okay. October. Yeah. Well, 
Well, thank you for announcing that here with yes, us. Yes, exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. Well, thank there you so much, yeah. Matt, for being on the show. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're having a good time. Thanks for having me. All right, great. Right. Great to hear it. Thank, thank you very much. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. So thank you again, Carver Caucus, yes, for bringing us for out. Thanks for having us. We had thank a you. blast. We, it's second time, it's so much. It's yeah. so much fun. All right. So now, table, uh, Tabletop Publishing Giant Asmodee mm. has officially announced that they will be producing Netflix board games. Another one, like, say somebody asked for this. I, All right. Okay. These board games are as follows, family. Ozark. The board game. The board game. Yeah, I never, okay. did, I never saw Ozark. I, I did. did you? I, I watched the first season. Was it okay? It was okay. okay. I don't know why I fell out of love with it, but I can go pick it up. But I did. The what first is it season. about? It's about this family okay. who ends up uh, being money launderers for some type of uh, underworld. Really? They, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was all like that. Yes, the money okay. laundering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what the game is. Ozark, this is a territory control game for two to five players mm -hmm. where they attempt to amass wealth and power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this one, now this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Squid Game. Oh. Squid Game. Love now we love Squid Game. Squid game. We love it. Squid Game was Awesome. Oh my God! We binged. We binged. We sat down and binged mm. that whole thing for two days. In two days we binged. <laughs> we could not move. Yes. We said we gotta look mm. at it. So yeah. we love Squid Game. This is a three to six player game, mm -hmm. but three to six. So you gotta have three. Yeah. Based on the satirical Korean death game series, each player controls a team of twelve contestants mm. as they participate in six deadly events straight from the show. Mm. Okay. We'll see. We'll check that out. Mm -hmm. We'll check that out. Then the last one, of course, <laughs> the big money maker, yes. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yes. Okay. Now, I saw that. It's yes. Attack of the Mind Flayer. Yes. Now, I did see that. I love Strange mm -hmm. Things. Yes. I mean, it's a Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. It's so much fun. And it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and this, this is a social deduction game mm -hmm. for four to ten players based on the Supernatural Thriller series. So... There you go. Okay. And it says the press release further states that all three of these Netflix board games will feature easy to learn gameplay okay. based on the various themes and trappings of each show. Okay. This will allow players to uh, players of all stripes to enjoy an accessible and immersive experience. So basically they're like mm -hmm. gateways. I love it. I'm looking at gateways. And I that's love that's it. pretty I cool. Think that's good. You know, yeah. you know, bring in more board gamers mm -hmm. with a very cool yeah, theme. With new I mean, most people yeah. saw all this. I mean, yeah. just like me and you, mm -hmm. we've seen most of all mm -hmm. these things. You yeah. know, either just you or me or mm -hmm. the whole family. So, yes, that could appeal to some folks. It could. So I, I could. I think it's a good idea. That's a good idea. So as my day, <laughs> as my day doing their thing. Yes, they you are. know, as usual, they doing their thing. So that's all. What you oh, got some I, stuff, Starla? You got some stuff. What you got? Yeah. If you haven't checked out our most recent OFPG Voices episode yes, yes. number 14, 14, check it out. Yes. Check it out. We had some good content. Yes, and we have a new is. episode coming out this upcoming Wednesday on August 10th. Yes. So be sure to check that out as well. Yes. And we just want to say thank you to our awesome contributors. Yes. And our awesome sponsors. Sponsors. For helping us keep these underrepresented voices in the forefront of this wonderful hobby. Yes, yes, yes. And, and we're still looking for our sponsors now. Yes, we are. I know y'all might be busy with a lot of stuff <laughs> going on, but yeah, we, we still love to have more yeah. sponsors so that yes, we, we keep do. this show going and growing. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we yes. do. Yes, and yes. And coming up on Whoa. August 20th, yes, I'm we excited. are having a game day. Yes. And we are sponsoring that game day mm -hmm. with the House of Afros Capes and Curls here yes. in Omaha. Yeah. And it is from Shout out to Jay Rogers. Shout out, Jay. Yeah. And it's going to be in Omaha. Yes. From 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be at Site One Brewery. Site One Brewery. And the library, the game library, will be supplied by Board Game Wagon. Yes. So you don't yes. have to bring out any games on your own unless you want to, because the Board Game Wagon is going to be there with some games. But if you want to bring something that you've had sitting on your shelf of shame and you want to get it played, this may be the time. And to if do you it. want to find out more about the board game wagon, check out our last episode because yes. we did interview Matt, who runs the board game wagon, yes. and that's basically his collection. It's his collection. It's his yeah. collection. So he's yeah. gonna bring some, you know, it's selected a huge games. Collection. Huge collection. Yeah, he's not but gonna bring the whole collection. No, no. But yeah, he, he is gonna bring some games. Yes, so that, selected games. Yes, people yes. can play. Yes, but yes. be sure to check it out. Mm -hmm. It's on Facebook. We have a graphic out there on Twitter and on Instagram, and yes. you can also sign up. There's an event page, so we can kind of have an idea how many people are coming. But yes, August 20th, 
5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Excited. Site One Brewery. Yes, we are so yes. excited. Come yes. on out. If you are in the area, come on. Yes. Come We'd on with it. Come on with it. Yes. yes so that's yes. all I have. That's it. That's all I got. All right. So we are getting ready to move into the heart of the episode. Ooh, a lot of games. A lot of games. Where we're going to talk about games we played yes. recently. A lot of games. Here we go. Now the yes. heart of the episode. Yes. Games we've played yes. recently. Yes. And we've got a list. We got a list. We yeah. got ten. We got ten. We got ten. We that we all enjoyed either together or, or individually. individually. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And we got stories behind a few of them. And they're not in any particular order. No. We just no. put them on our list. Yes. We had to go back and figure out which yes. ones we played. And I guess we'll just kick it off. And some are pretty hot right now they're coming hot. out of Gen Con. I just hop here. And that first one is the Guild of Merchant Explorers yes. from AEG. Mm -hmm. That is a hot one, but it's yes. so much fun. It is fun. And family, <laughs> let me tell you, this one over here don't like no flip and rights. She don't like rolling like rights. Rolling right. But I think I found a flipper that she likes, and that's the Guild of Merchant Explorers. Because yeah. it's kind of a, not a flip and right, but a flip and, guess, cubes? I it's flipping cubes. Flipping move. Uh, flipping, flipping cubes. Taking it's, action. Or? It, no, it's flipping cubes because you got, yeah. instead of writing, you got cubes. Yeah, yeah, cubes. And you have individual maps that you put cubes on there. Mm -hmm. And she likes I it. I like it. She likes it. Yeah. It's one of four players. Mm -hmm. And you have like a common, you know, common cards that you flip over. And mm -hmm. everybody takes an action, putting cubes down mm -hmm. from your starter, you know, starter capital yeah. and just going out. Then after each era, because it's like three eras, mm -hmm. you, you, after your era, you take all your cubes off, but you leave anything that you spread it out like if you discovered a village mm -hmm. or something like that you keep that going and then you keep spreading out but it's a really fun game yeah. that you know you have special powers that you can do things but it is a really mm -hmm. fun game and I really like it well I think what I liked about it the most is kind of like I felt like I was playing my own game. Yes. Because I was playing in my little area. I yeah. really didn't have to interact with you. No, you didn't. So I just kind of played my own area. I tried to explore from my yes. perspective and not yes. have to worry about what you were doing. And I kind of like that. Yeah, it's yeah. like a little kind of, puzzle. It's yeah, like it's a little like, puzzle on your own. It's my own little thing. Yes. You know, we may interact in some kind of way, but not very much. So I, I really do like the game. I, I like really it do too. like it. So yeah, it's Guild of Merchant, Merchant Explorers. Explorers from yes. AEG. Love that game. All right. And next yes. we, we play. Well, no, oh, I can't say next. Here we go. But we did play. Here we go, y'all. And I think out of the 10, this one has the cuteness factor. Oh, and you love the cuteness. And it Loved is Yak. It. Yes. And we did mention Yak before. Pretzel Games. Yes. yes. And Yak is a two to four player game. And you got these cute little Yaks. And they have wagons and the little carts they roll. And then you've got the little first player baby Yak, which is so adorable. And... Yeah, and then each cart has yes. different goods that they carry, yes. and some carts can't uh, can't transport yes. other goods. And it so, goes around, and it goes around in yeah. a nice little rundle, yeah. rundle circle type yes. thing. Yes, yes, yes. And I loved it. You loved it, don't you? And the wheels on the carts they actually roll. And so I mean, you know, we, had to, we had to play it several times. Even brought Grant in yes. to play one because <laughs> she loved it so much. She said, "I gotta play yak. I gotta play yak." So, I just want to move the yak. Yeah, you just want to use it and, and yeah. see the yak. <laughs> I just and a little baby yak. And a baby yak. I just want to move it around the board. We call the baby so, yak a, a name. <laughs> He's baby yak. To he me. was George to me. Yes. He was George. So yeah, I, I love yak. It's a lot of fun. Yes. I mean, it's an easy game to play. I mean, it's just you match up a bunch it's, of it's stuff. It's an easy game. And, it's a, now you talk about a family and game. And it's economic. This is, yes, economic. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a family game. It's a family this game. This is a family game. I, yes. I really do like it. I yes. love it. I love this game. It's really Check fun. Check it out. Pretzel games. Yes. Yak. <laughs> it is really fun. It is really fun. Now this next. Next one is is getting re, getting rave reviews mm -hmm. and it's hot at uh, at Gen Con right now and just mm -hmm. uh, it's not out yet. It's from mm -hmm. AEG. Mm -hmm. It's coming out in a couple of months or maybe mm -hmm. next month. But it's called Wormhole. Wormhole. From one to five players. It's it's hand management. It's basically just a pick up and deliver game. It's mm -hmm. not hard to learn and it's you're just basically putting down wormholes and using mm -hmm. wormholes to get to from place to place. And if you use your opponent's wormhole, your opponent gets some money for. It. So um, yeah. yeah, wormholes. Now, um, I like some space games. I'm not really a space. She's not a space. Not a space person. Yes. I like wormholes. Yes. Now, I did not like the fact that my opponent could use my wormhole because my opponent 
was always trying to figure out ways to get to my wormhole Listen, to try to it's use my in wormhole the game. instead of using his own it's wormhole. It's in the game. I used the wormholes to get where I need to go. And if you got that wormhole, I'm going to use it. Yes. You get money from it? Yes, but still, you were using my wormholes a lot and Listen. getting in the way, to be exact. Listen, it's in the game. I you can use them. Yes. I use them. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it, it's really a good game. It's really good. It's game. a cute concept. Yes, it is. You use these holes to warp from place to place. Yes, yes. And I, you, I like it. And you're delivering passengers. Mm -hmm. You know that like you get, you know, the cards, and you gotta, you go to a different planet, mm -hmm. and you have the cards of the, you know, of, you know, have cards yeah. of that planet. Yeah. That's passengers that you're dropping off. Yeah. And I, and I, it's what really I cool. thought, I mean, I liked it. I think that I would rather have seen a passenger's face instead of a yeah, planet. Yeah, that's what you said. You didn't want to see a planet. You want to see a passenger's yeah. face. Uh, maybe you know the way the cars are made they could have had the planet on there too but still had a passenger yeah. maybe with some kind of identity I think that could have pulled me more into the game yeah. where yeah. maybe you were you were delivering an astronaut or maybe it was a, a mother with some kids or yeah, something family, like that. a family a family on family. vacation yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that would have made the game a little more interesting yeah, but it, it has a have. great concept yeah. um not as colorful and pretty as most games it was colorful and pretty yeah. kind of sort of you know, I like the well, components, though. Well, you have though. to say kind of, sort of. Yeah. Then that means it's not really colorful. Yeah, it's right a space that. game. It's a space game. The components were great. Yeah, but, components were great. Yeah, but, yeah, it wasn't colorful and pretty. But I just would, maybe if they ever do a, a you know, a reprint or something, add some passengers. Add, add some passengers. Add some patches, passengers with a backstory yeah, or something yeah. like that. Or I think it was kind of like, those were tickets. Yeah, it, it seemed like, like tickets. It seemed yeah. like, the, you know, the, the cars with the planet, and they yeah. had some little, you know, mm -hmm. stuff on it that, yeah. it looked like it was a ticket. Yeah, you know, it had some kind of foreign-looking markings on yeah, the cars like and ticket, stuff. You know, Maybe yeah. that's what it was, yeah. but I, I would love to see the passengers. I'm delivering, you know, Dr. Uh, uh, Morgan or whatever to some place. Yeah. I thought that would have been And then it has like a like a, a rundown clock, you know, like mm -hmm. a disc that, you know, if you connect all the different yeah. wormholes yeah. to the planet, that, you know, the time goes down, like mm -hmm. this come off. And I think it's too short for me. It's a very short game. Yes, yeah, short. And you know that's you know I usually like long games. Yes. You know, but this one is short. You you you, you kind of getting you know revving up and getting ready, and I'll say, oh man. But I mean, I like I like that it's short because that way, if once you're done, yeah. you can do a rematch. And you it's can. Gonna take and we did a, we did a couple we rematches. Couple, yeah, yeah. So yeah it was I like the I like the length of the game. It didn't it bother me. You just okay. want to play all night. I play. <laughs> but then how do you get a chance to rematch that's if you're true. playing for two hours? I don't mind so, playing. Yeah, I, I don't mind playing. But yeah, it was it was cool. So that's. Wormholes yeah, wormholes. By yeah. AEG, one to five players. One to five players. Yes, yes. Look when it comes out. Look for a family. Yes, Definitely look yes. for it. It's got all the things you know how to do: hand management. Yes. You know, networking, pick route up and building, pick, it's up, just and a pick up and deliver. All That's those all things that yeah. you're familiar with. It's got it. Yeah, it got it. Okay. Now, I want you to one. talk about this one because you <laughs> you got with Nor Jane. Mm -hmm. Love you, Nor Jane. How hey, you doing? Jane. Uh, and you wanted to play this, so you tell about yeah, that. Yeah. Well, you know, we were at uh, the con last week, yes. and Nor Jane introduced us to a game called. Dragonwood. Yes. And From I Game thought, Right. From yeah, Game Right. I thought it was so cute. Now, Dragonwood is a two to four player game. Yes. It's a simple little card it's a dice game. Dice rolling game. It's, it's hand management, dice rolling, dice rolling. set collecting, set collecting, and yep. press your luck. Yes, it is. So it's press got your a little luck. bit of yes, that in there. Yes, it is. And it's got some cute little dragons and other things. Adventurers, on it. adventurers, and, stuff like that. Yeah. And, and different little things. Uh, some are not so cute. They've got yeah. a python on one, but it's a cute python. But it, instead, you know, of, I don't like snakes, but this was a cartoon python. And it's kind of like fantasy dragon, mm. Dungeons and Dragons kind of sort of where your adventurers are going out, not killing the mm -hmm. monsters. They're capturing them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're capturing yes. them. Yes. And you can stomp yes. on some, you can scream at some, and you can strike them. Yes. And it's the different ways you roll your uh, dice, and you roll your dice and you play cards. And your cards have to be uh, in a particular order. Either you have the same number. I think for strike, you gotta have like the one, two, three, you gotta go in order. Mm -hmm. You know, gotta go in numerical order. I don't order. remember what the different cr no, criteria no. was. No, no, strike, you gotta go in numerical order. Mm -hmm. And then, and it could be any, you know, any, I think uh, any color. Mm -hmm. And then I think for the stomp, stomp was the same number. It, no, it had to be the same number, mm -hmm. any color. And then scream. And then scream, it had to be the same color. color. Yeah. Yes, any yes. number, same any color. Any number, the same color, yes. And so you would get a chance to uh, follow those particular criteria and you would get dice uh, based on that. And, and based on how many cards mm -hmm. you have. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you have like five 
cards, you know, mm-hmm. one, two, three, four, five, you get five, five dice. dice to yeah. roll and try to, yes. you know, capture your, your little monster or and whatever. Then, and then there's some cards that give you special powers that yes, you can use. Yes, they do. Use. Yes, they, they give do. you more like dice. Like the Ladybug, yeah, lady- where you can get extra cards. No, no, Ladybug, you get the, re- oh, yeah, Ladybug, you get, you get the cards. extra cards. Yeah, yeah. you get extra cards, yeah. you get two more cards. Yes. So I enjoyed that. It was fun. And I liked Dragonwood so much that Mick and I played with Nora Jane one night, but yes. then the next day, I had, I had uh, Nora Jane let me and Grant play it. Yeah. Because she was teaching the game to somebody else. She said, oh, go get the game and just play it. Yeah. So Grant and I played and we had a fun time. Oh, you played with us yeah, as well. Yeah, I played with you, yeah. All yeah, us played yeah, it and we had yeah. so much fun. It's not a new game, but yeah. it was new to us. I think it was made and back in like 2014 or something like that. And I don't know, but I thought yeah. it was the cutest it was, thing. It was a cool game. And yeah. yes, I would love to have it in the collection. Green light! Green light! <sighs> I would love to have it in the collection because Green I, light. I think it's a, it's a really cute game. Green light! Great for you know beginners to the hobby. Green light! And for those of us who've been in the hobby for a long time. Green light! You still will enjoy playing it. So, Green Dragon light. Wood, yes. awesome little game. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, I, I like it too. It was really fun. Of course you do. I'm, you I'm so surprised we else. don't have it. Well, I've never heard of it. So, I, I mean, you know what? I, I, I kind of think I maybe heard of it here and there, but it's so many games coming. I just probably. You know what thing I, yeah, I, I really yeah. love about Nora Jane? What is that? Every time we hang out yes. with her, she, she introduces us to us something. To a new game. And it's something we like. Yes, because we got. Because <laughs> she taught us Cat Lady. Cat Lady. And we love mm-hmm. Cat Lady. Yep. We love that one. And then mm-hmm. something else she taught us that we liked too, I forgot, but Cat Lady was one. Cat Lady was one. Yeah, Cat Lady was one. So, yes. another game we played, we got a chance to play one of our oldies but goodies. Yes. And we had some time at the con, so yes. me and I sat down and decided we would yes. have a battle royale. A battle! Royale. Yes! Blood all over the table. Five tries. Woo! We went at it. We went at it. Five tries. That's our favorite. Now, if anybody follows us for so long in our OPG family, you know that we love Five Tribes. That's mm-hmm. one of our top And we love together. it as a two-player. And we love it as a two-player. And then once we play, we go at mm-hmm. it. Now, I hate that at one time, she had a, almost a 20-game winning streak on me. <laughs> 20, almost 20 games. Mm-hmm. And I finally broke it, mm-hmm. and now we're back at her streak again. Well, Five Tribes <sighs> is by Days of Wonder. Yes. It's a two to four player game. With that Makala action. It uses the Makala yes. um, uh, comp- I mean, yes. uh, mechanic. Yes. And set collecting, there's you know victory points, etc. Yes. But we played the game. Yes, we did. And we played, I mean, and we, we played were one, fighting. We had one expansion on it. Yes, we used the, the artisan. Um, artisan. You used the artisan. And yes. we fought to the end, and it was so interesting. We were adding up our points, and when I get the points together, Mick usually just calculates everything, and I just give him numbers. So when I gave him the first number, uh, we got that written down, and then we got to the second number. Mick said, well, is that my score? Is that my score? I said, no, sweetheart, that's my score. And, of course, it was the winning score. Um, five tribes, one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> he thought I, he was I, I like, thought I was no, winning, family. No I was doing way. some good stuff. I was doing some good stuff in that game, and I cannot understand what happened. Come on. I do not I mean, know. Come on. What happened? Let's be realistic. What? You saw how many resource cards I had. There yeah, was no yeah, way. But see, but I was using my gens. I had some gens, my mm-hmm. genies. I had my genies. Mm-hmm. I had a form of genies because I got that one where I could keep getting more, mm-hmm. you know, genies and stuff. Yeah, but the resource cards could take that. And out. I was taking, you know, st- you know, yeah. different, you know, t- uh, tiles. I was mm-hmm. taking tiles. I yeah. thought I had it, man. I know you did. I know. You thought so. Until I told you who's I know. I couldn't believe it. So anyway, five tries, one of our I favorites. I thought I had it, family. And again, we love it as a two-player. We player. love it. We love as it. As a two-player, yes. we love it. So now I gotta, we got to do it again. Because it was so sad, though, Star. Mm-hmm. We didn't play, we haven't played that game since 2018. I know. No, it was 19. No, it was 18. It was 19. It was 19? Yeah, yeah it 2019. was 2019. Yeah, 2019. Mm-hmm. And that was just like, I'm like, oh my yeah. Lord. We love that game. We love it, but we don't get a chance to play it. No, so I was we happy don't. we had the time. Yeah. You know, because at the cons, we get we have the time to play. Yes, we do. We take advantage of and, it. And you mm-hmm. and you always say, Mick, let's play something that we don't have to learn no new rules, mm-hmm. that we know and love. Let's do that. But I mean, it's, it's a good yeah. time to revisit stuff yes. we don't yes. play. Yes, yes, true. Because we do play so That's much true. new stuff that when we're at a con and especially we have a little, uh, especially like a a, yeah. a, a smaller con yeah, like well, that. Yeah, we have time yeah. to play. Let's yeah. revisit some of the stuff we, we don't did. play. And here's here's five tries we haven't played in 
almost three years. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So was, that was fun. It was a lot and, of fun. And it, and it keeps reminding us how great that game yes. is. It's a wonderful game. You know. Yeah. yeah it's a great It's a wonderful game. Bruno it. Cathala, thank you so much for I it. I love that game. Bless you. <laughs> but yeah, see, there we go. I yeah, love it. There we go. Alright, this next one's on you. Uh, Onitama. Yeah, I didn't play that. Yes, we, I played Onitama. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's a fun, it's kind of like a, a it's almost like chess. Okay. Where you have this this master. And then four of his minions on this little small grid board, mm -hmm. and you get like different cards that give you different movements that you can do okay. with your pieces. And you just basically try to capture the uh, the the lead man, mm -hmm. you know, the lead master, or get into the base camp. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. on the other side. But it's a fun game. We I need to get it because yes. you'll love it. Yeah. It's basically just chess on mm -hmm. a whole different level. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, yeah, I didn't chess, get chess on a to whole different one. level. And I, you know, Nate. From Board Game Wagon and our good friend, yes. you know, uh, he showed it to me. He said, "Mickey, gotta play this." And I said, "All right, Nate, let's do it." <laughs> so it was like two o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and and we played it because I stay up a little late, you know, at cons sometimes. Yes, he stays up late. I said, "They go to bed." And I will go Starla crash. will go to bed. Starla yeah. go to bed. About nine o'clock, ten o'clock, I'm done. For I'm the trying night. to get her to bring the time <laughs> no. up a little bit to maybe mm -hmm. eleven. 11. Nope. 9 or 10 o'clock, I'm done. Uh, I'm ready to go to sleep. He's still ready to Family, play. if you see us at a convention, we got to keep, keep up until 11 now. Got 11. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But see, I played on a Tama, uh -huh. and it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So I, I'm surprised we don't have it in the collection, but I'm going to, well. Yeah, it's a two-player game. It's a two-player game. Yeah, it, we, we don't have it in the collection. No, can, can we? Can I, I don't know. It. I haven't played it. Okay, I, but so I want to get I it so you can but, play but it. But I don't know if that's a green light because uh, okay. I, well, I, so. I don't have any connection to the game, so I don't know. We have to think about so it. So I'm going to have to <laughs> let you play it. <laughs> so, so maybe on, on August 20th well, at the game day, I can show you it. Yeah, okay, maybe so. Okay. Yes, maybe so. All right. Yellow light, yellow light. Okay, we're gonna try to get green, yellow. And this next All one's right. on you too. I haven't played that okay, one. Okay, Carnegie, Carnegie. We do have that one yes. from Pegasus Spill. It is hot, mm. and Carnegie is basically just a Euro game uh -huh. that you share different, you know, different actions on. Mm. So like shared actions. You know, you pick an action, and it's limited actions mm. on it. So you gotta really hustle hard at the beginning because at the end, you, you, you might not get those mm. actions again. So okay. it's a really fun Euro. Uh, it's it's economic, uh, it's area management. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a, you kind of like um, resource management, mm -hmm. tiling. It's mm -hmm. a lot going on for a European ga a Euro okay. game, mm -hmm. but it is a really fun game. Uh, Chad from Punchboard Paradise taught it to me. Mm -hmm. We played. I beat him. Yes, I beat him. <laughs> but uh, uh, and but it's a really fun game. I'm gonna teach you it. We do have it. I'm mm -hmm. gonna punch it out because it's still in shrink. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna punch it out and play it and show it to you because mm -hmm. I think we got a little time this weekend. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna we'll I'm gonna I'm gonna let you see it and, and show okay. you and see what's going on because it's a really fun Euro game. All right. Well, that's really Carnegie. Now, now let me taste all. Okay. Tell me. Don't look for no color now. Don't look for cute and don't look for no color. Mm. Cause this is the gilded age mm. and it's all it's all brown. Okay. It's brown. Yeah. You know, they didn't have no color so in the we, gilded age. We may age. not have time to do it's, that this weekend then. Why not? We, we may have to look at something else. Why? That's, that's more colorful. It's it's good like game. Like it's a good economic game. It's, it's a good mind. It, it helps your mind. It keeps your mind strong. Okay. But it's it's but it's but it's beige. <laughs> Okay. It's beige. Well, well, we'll we'll think about that. All right, all right, all right. All <laughs> now this next one okay. is on me. It's on you. It's on you. Um, I had a chance to play Dice Miner. Yes. With Michael, uh, who's Nora Jane's husband. Yes. Michael, from Newcom. From Newcom. Yeah. And so we sat down and played Dice Miner. Yeah. And it's from Atlas Games. It's a one to four player game. Yeah. And you're mining dice. Mining dice. And and he had the one that has the plastic mountain, which actually we learned to play Dice Miner last year yes. at Cardboard Caucus. Yes, we did. And and then we haven't played it since last year yes. at Cardboard Con. Because you said that <laughs> the only way that's green lighted that I gotta get the Kickstarter version with, with the, the plastic, plastic mountain. mountain. Can't get yeah, the cardboard I don't want one. The cardboard mountain. No. That's it's not cute. So it's a cautionary conditional green light. Yes. If you can find the plastic mountain, I would love to have it, but I don't want the yes. cardboard mountain. Yes, but I mean, it's really an easy game. You're yes. just mining dice. Yes. You have certain things you're trying to do with the dice, like yes. either collect magic or, uh, or, or uh, what is it, shields, because you, you gotta protect yourself. Yes. But all these things go on top of the mine and you just pick them off 
and, and, and that's really simple. You're collecting numbers, that's and you have game. to have the numbers yes. in order in order to get the points. So you have to start with one and go mm. all the way from one to five, or I think that goes to five or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really interesting game, but it's really simple dice. And what yes. I found out is that Michael loves dice games. So anything dice related, he loves. Yes. So he kind of re-showed it to me because it's like, Michael, I don't remember last time we played it was last year. Last year at this point. So he yeah. kind of re-showed it to me again yes. so we could play it. Had a lot of fun. Of course, I did not win because I was still getting familiar with the game. Yeah. But I do like Dice Miner. And it is something I would love to see in That's our collection cool. one day. Yes, yes, yes. With the one plastic day. mountain. With the plastic mountain. I got to get the plastic mountain. <laughs> exactly. So it kind of, kind of, sort of green light. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Yes. That's Dice Miner. Yes. So yes. the next one. Long time favorite. Favorite. Love this game. And we got a chance to play it with an OFPG family member and yes. one of her friends. A, a, no, and which is kind of a, uh, she kind yes. of, what, it's Allison. And Allison. And Allison. <laughs> the two Allisons. Allison, one is called Allie. Allie. One is yes. Allie, one is but Allison. they're both Allison. But we met Al uh, Allison, she came up to us and mm -hmm. she, she wanted to play with us. Yes. They're very lovely OFPG family. Very sweet, both of them. And she's on a form in Iowa. In Iowa. And I said, are you really on a form in Iowa? She said, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I said, in the middle of nowhere? She said, yes. yes. And I said, see, we everywhere. <laughs> OFPG family is every Everywhere, yes. and the good thing about it, we're definitely gonna show some pictures because we did see some yeah. some family members there. We did. We yes, did. we did see some and took yes. some pictures with them, so that was a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But Allison definitely wanted to play with us, yes. and she said, "Cause Starla, you said somewhere that you you miss playing Lords of Waterdeep." Lords of Waterdeep. And she said, "She said we, we were on the show. We were on the show." And so yes. after the show, she said, "Hey, I play Lords of Waterdeep with you." And we said, "Okay." And we said, "Okay." And Lords of Waterdeep is from Wizards of the Coast. Yes, two to and five. And it's a two to five player game. Yes. Yes. If you haven't played it, try it. It's a wonderful game. You've got contracts. Worker placement. It is worker, worker placement. placement. It is worker set placement. Set collecting. And I love that game. I love it too. And I you complete it. contracts. Contracts. Yes, yes. You do? Yes. So I, I love that game. And I you love know what? It. We did not win. No. Allison and Allison took both of us out. Al Allison, basically, she got yes. us. And she but, said, she said, you're wonderful people. And I said, you, but you beat us bad. Well, you know what? I felt attacked because I got, I got hit from everybody. My own husband hit me with mandatory, mandatory quest. No, I didn't hit you with yeah. one. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What did you hit me with? I hit, oh no, I hit you with that card. Oh, with the, the entry the, card. Oh, the entry card that took away something. Yeah, from me. yeah, the entry card. And then I got hit with mandatory. No, it was quest. Allison and Allie that hit you that with hit the. Me. With the mandatory uh, quest. quest on and, you. And kept yeah. me, you know, struggling. But that's yes. okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, I, I wasn't upset. No, so no. I, I was through. in last place. Well, yes, you were Because I was, place, I was in second place. And then, see, we played Skullport. We mm -hmm. played the expansion. If you get the expansion with Skullport, don't ever play without it. <laughs> you put that expansion there, and you yes. always play with that one, because that is wonderful. Skullport, Skullport <laughs> yeah. is wonderful. Skull, okay, yeah. it's, it's wonderful, but it, it hurts you. It the, hurts you in the end, because if you use all the skulls and don't get rid of them, mm -hmm. it, it hurts you. It hurts. it hurts you. So it really hurt me, because I went from, like, in the hundreds, all the way down to <laughs> like know like forties. Oh, uh, like I was just but yeah, but bad. Lots of water deep is a yes. lot of fun. We lot loved fun. it. We enjoy playing with Allison and Allison. Yes, and um, I'm just happy we got a chance to play it. Yeah, again. Yeah, because it's, it's still it's a classic. It's a classic. It's still fun. Mm -hmm. It's a worker placement, you know, gym. It is, and and I loved it. I loved yeah, it. It was it was, it was really fun. Now and this last was on me, but not least, it was on me. On you. <laughs> but you love it too. On oh, one of my favorites. And, and now it was it was a, a tournament going on mm -hmm. and uh, Matt from Carver Caucus said, oh, we got one more spot. And he was talking to us. It's the Splendor Tournament. And I said, I'll do it. I wanted Stala to do it because Stala is so much better at Splendor <laughs> than me, but Stala didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'll do it. Yeah. Why did I say that, family? Mm -hmm. Why did I say, family, that I'm going to go do a Splendor Tournament? Now you know Splendor how rusty tournament? we are. We are rusty. When was the last time we played Splendor? Two, oh three God, years ago? Oh my God, I don't even know. I was like, you want to throw me up on a tournament and I haven't played the game and God knows when. I was like, nope, I'm going to pass on that one. But you decided to do it and what happened? I don't know why I did that. I don't know, I don't know why. You know you were so, rusty. I was sure. You were totally rusty. Girl, I, they just beat me down. Mm -hmm. I was beat down. But yeah. Splendor is a really cool kind of, you know, it's kind of like a set collection. And you're building a, a tableau, an engine. You're building mm -hmm. an engine so you can keep getting more uh, cards and mm -hmm. stuff. So it's really fun. You get gems and you, uh, you got this big market, yeah. you know, kind of like market that you got to get more gems. You get gems and you try to set.
set those gems to get these different, uh, you know, cards mm -hmm. where you can build your engine. Yeah. So and you get points. And get points. And then maybe get some, you know, nobles to come visit you if you have the right gems to match well, them. Well, no, the way it goes, you, okay. you get gems to get cards. Yes. You take cards to get nobles. Yes. That's how it yes. goes. There gems go. to get cards, cards to get nobles. She teaches the game. <laughs> she teaches the game. And that's how it works on yeah. the cards. You can see that on the card, it'll have a little circle telling you yeah. you need gems. And on the noble, it'll have the little card shape telling you you need See, cards. See, why you didn't play? Because I haven't played in so long. I mean, I know, you know the game. I know how the game goes, but I You're just... <laughs> See, I, see, you had me embarrassed. <laughs> well, because I got beat bad. I mean, I think I was in last place. I think I was. And there was somebody who this was her first time playing it. I think she beat me and she too. She beat you too. I think she beat me so too. So you forgot how it goes. Oh. Gems, cards, cards, nobles. Yeah, that was uh, good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but the other two uh, players, you know, they they just beat me up. They just they just beat me up. But, I was like, but you know what? It's all in fun. Yes, it is. And we had a lot of fun. Yes, and we I'm did. so happy that we and had a chance to play as many games as we did. And in the past is still a great game. Oh, it's so much great. fun, but yeah. you know, I can't wait for a Splendor Duel. Yes. That's coming that soon. That is coming soon. And I cannot wait for Splendor Duel. How are they yes. going to do that? I don't know. How are they going to do that? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> Just like with Seven Wonders. I hope it's not a Seven Wonders Duel <laughs> thing. Because Seven Wonders Duel try to break a family. Yes. They try to break up relationships. Oh, yeah. That yeah, thing. Seven Wonders Duel is a tough one. They try to it's break up relationships one. on that I'm one. I'm excited about Splendor yes. Duel. That'll be yes. great. But we yes. played some great games. Yes, we did. And we'll have Grant put the list up of games we yes. played. Yes. And if you haven't played any of these games, I don't care if it was put out in 2010 or 2014. If you haven't played, it's 2022. Still, uh, yeah, 22. Yeah. It's new to you. Yes. Check them out. Yes. They're a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Yes. yes. And we gave you a big variety from yes. the, the brand new, the mm -hmm. ones that haven't come out yet, to the ones that have been out, for, been a out for a time. long time. So, yes, yes, yes. So, we hope you'll check those out. Yes, yes. So, next up, it's what did we get, Mick? Oh, we got some stuff. All right. But I think it's on my own creation. So, here we go. Oh, gosh. All right, Mick, what did we get? Okay. Uh, uh, wait a minute, what did you get? Okay, here That's we go. The question. Here we go. Well, we'll start off that what did we get from a publisher. Okay. Yeah, we, let's start there. So we got something from a publisher? Yes, we did. Okay. Yes. And that is uh, from Grandpa Beck. Oh, Grandpa as Beck. always. Yes. You know, Grandpa Beck comes with the big old thing here, and he got all this going on. And, and we decided yeah. to save it and open it yes. on We're camera. We're going to show it on camera. We haven't yes. opened it. So yes. we, this is the first time, our first open kind of yes. unboxing. It's unboxing. With some, some crazy stuff. <laughs> but we love boxes. Grandpa Beck. I so really here get. we go, here we go. So we Ooh. open it up. Ooh. Oh, look at this. And, look, and look at that. that. Look at that. It says, get, uh, it says, oh, get ready goodness. to soar to victory. Oh my goodness. So first what do we got here? We got here, we got, well, got Pop Rocks Dragon's Breath. <laughs> Pop Rocks Dragon Pop Breath. Rocks. Did you like Pop Rocks? Oh yeah, when I was Pop a kid Rocks? I loved it. I haven't had it since I was a kid. I, I, I used to do Pop, yeah, Rocks, Pop Rocks too. And this is grape, so that's going <laughs> to be fun. That. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. Then we got Fire, Fire Hot, Hot Candies. candies. I didn't, red Hots. Those you are like Red those? Hots. Yeah. I, I, I like I, Red oh, Hots. No, I, I have never I been, like Red I haven't been really a fan of, of you know, uh, what is this? What red, is it? Red, red hot. It's a fire hot. Yeah, because you know, sometimes they get a little burning on me. They burn on me. Yeah, they burn. Add these to your dragon's brew for a little kick. Mm. How much? Uh, how much you say is up to you. Less yeah. or more, take your pick. Okay. Ooh, they did a little rhyme on us uh -huh. there. What else? Okay, this, this is cool. Uh, it says spiced apple uh, apple cider. cider. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is cool. That is cool. But see, I do carrot now. Well, that's okay. We care. can still try it. Yeah, that. we can try, still mm -hmm. try it. So I like apple cider. Yeah, I do too. But see, we got to say this for the winner. That's true. We got to say yeah, this for we'll, the winner. We'll apple cider, we got to say this for the winner. Yes. Yeah, we got to do. I'm going to put that up. And then you get a... What, what is that? First aid <laughs> burn <laughs> cream. <laughs> Them dang dragons. <laughs> Some burn cream. Some burn cream or dang dragons. It's going to be trying to burn up. That's All hilarious. Right, that ain't cool. That's that ain't hilarious. Cool. I love it. Oh, game night champ. Oh, let me go ahead and hold that because I know that'll be me. There's a game night champ from uh from yeah from yeah. uh Grandpa Beck yeah so no I'm not gonna give it to you I might get this I might get this yeah so I'm gonna put that over there then we have uh, ooh, a sticker ooh a sticker Reign of Dragonus, Dragonus. there we yes. go Reign of Dragonus that is so yes. cool ooh what is this 
It's a mm-hmm. rain of dragonness. Oh, oh, so so, little, oh, like we can put our scores in there. Yeah, yeah. That's Look, a nice put our book. score. That's really nice. Now. That's really, really nice. I, I love like that. that. <gasps> and there's a little metal thing. Oh, a little pin. Oh, oh yeah. that is so nice. It's a dragon pin. Look at that. Look at that, family. Look at that. That's really cool. Oh, my yeah. Goodness. And I do love my pins. Mm-hmm. I do love my pins. So I like that. And then the oh, game. No, no, oh, no. Wait. First, first. There's a pencil. A pencil. Oh, this. What oh, else? This is helps nice? us write stuff down. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, this is right there. Oh, and my then goodness. we have the actual game. The actual game. <laughs> okay. There it is. Reign of Dungeoness. Is it Dungeoness or Dragon? Dragoness. So, I'm sorry, Dragoness. Reign, <laughs> Reign of Dragoness. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> it says, "Be sharp, climb high, r- uh, soar to victory." Yes. I want to check that out. I, I mean, Grandpa Beck. I mean, they don't miss a beat. No, they do not. I mean, this box is loaded with yes. nice little yes. trinkets and and little candies and all kinds of stuff. And I love it. All the time, Grandpa Beck always has some kind of recipe in it. Mm. And then this time, he has another recipe. It's called Grandpa Beck's Gra- Grandma Beck's recipes. Uh, Dragon's Brew. Okay. Dragon's Brew. And they got a picture of Grandpa mm-hmm. Beck and Grandma Beck back yeah. there with some grandkids. But yes, we definitely. This is just yeah, awesome. This is really cool. I love it. This oh is my really goodness. Cool. I mean, beautiful box. I mean, artwork inside the box and yeah. the bottom of the box. I and mean, just beautiful. There's the rule book right just there. Beautiful. Rule book. And then here's the, the cards. Because the they cards, they, they do their card games. Mm-hmm. But And then, you know, on the back here it says, have a question. Call him. Yeah. You actually call him. He might answer. <laughs> I'm serious. He might answer yeah, if he, he calls. So yeah, great. that's really cool. That's really oh cool. Oh my goodness. So, I'm putting so us much stuff. So Let's much stuff. So we can stuff. squeeze the game back here. I know. It's, it's so much going <laughs> on on this thing. So yeah. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. This is a beautiful this is presentation. Beautiful presentation. They always do it. They, they do, do it. Up. They do it up. They always do it. All up, of their so. boxes are adventure. Yeah. You get a chance to go in there yeah. and find so much little hey, goodies and trinkets. And it's like, what they got? What else did you get? Yeah. It's so nice. So cool. So I'll put this all in there. Yeah, thank you so much again. Thank and, you. and my trophy, that's gonna be my trophy. No. That's gonna be I my don't trophy. Think so. Yes, it is. So what else did we get? Okay, this is this is us. No, this is you. This is you. Oh, uh, we me. had some uh someone <laughs> and we're gonna put his uh, name up and his information, but we got this from uh someone at, who came oh, to we our have the, we gotta get his card. We got his card yeah. and he came to our uh he came to our last to our, show. Yeah, came to our show and he came to our table yes, and talked to And us. he's a he's a uh, like a dean at mm-hmm. the University of Iowa. Mm-hmm. And and it was really cool. And this is a a it's tower. A, it's a, a dice, dice tower. tower. And let's see, let's put can, it out. Yeah, I got I got it. Yeah, you go here and you stack it. You got to stack it right there. Yeah. Right there. And let's see, get this up. Yep. Yep, get this here. And it's kind of like just somewhere you can yeah. travel around. It's a traveling dice yep, tower. It's a traveling dice tower. And there you go. And it is an actual tower. It's an actual tower. Yeah, there you you go. know, right there in the a back dice comes tower. out. Yeah, see, let me lift it up there so you see it, family. There you go. Like, it's really cool. Mm-hmm. And it's just really nice. Mm-hmm. And we liked it. Yeah, we yeah. like it a lot. We talked to about maybe we might paint it or something. Yeah, we might paint it, put an RPG it. on there or something. Yeah. You know, we're going to do but that. It's a nice little dice tower you can take with you when you go places. We really enjoy that. Mm-hmm. We really enjoy that. So it's really right. cool. Yeah. So uh, now, when we were there, the board game wagon, Matt's board game wagon, he was selling some games off. Mm-hmm. He was said, because he has, he said, you know, he has a big collection. He's kind of selling them off so he could be a little bit, uh, you know, manageable. So I, we were looking at, you know, the pile of games. I shouldn't be doing it, family. I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. He should not. I shouldn't, but I did. And I found a couple of games that I wanted. Now, one, I told Starla about. She said, Mick, go rescue it now. <laughs> and yes. it was. The Great Heartland Hauling Company. Yes. Starla loves this game. And when he loves told it. me it was on the sale table, we had to take it home. Had to, and we yes. are going to, this is going to be a giveaway at NukeCon. Yes. Yes, because Starla wants to find it a nice home. Yes, it deserves yeah. a good home. Somebody who will love it and care for it and play it. Yes, yes. yes. She wanted to. You wanted yes. me to rescue that. So, so we rescued, rescued this one. Yes. and we're gonna we're gonna give this one away. So yes. this was a, this was definitely a green light box. That was a green light. Yes. And then I got this as uh, our uh, our, our, our Agra. Agra. I found Agra. It's a very cool game. It's a very Euro game. Mm-hmm. Very. It's a lot going on with yeah. it. And I got this. It was. Uh, it's usually be on. You know. It's usually sold for like sixty something dollars. Mm-hmm. I got it for thirty bucks. Oh. 
Okay. 30 bucks. So I wanted it. It's already separated, punched out, uh, you know, put together really good. So I wanted to get it. Mm -hmm. And I saw it and I said, hey, I heard some good things about this one. So I got it, family, for 30 bucks. Wasn't green lighted. I just got it. Just got it. Yes. But, it, but I didn't want it to go nowhere. And it was in good condition until we dropped it. Oh uh, yeah, I dropped it. Yes, I dropped it, family. Dropped yeah. It, but it wasn't good. I dropped condition. it. It was it was honest, you know, I was, yeah. it was we were coming back from the cone. <laughs> so, now this one I've heard a lot about. Okay. And it's kinda sorta cute. Kinda sorta. Kinda sorta. I got from Spillbound. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spillbound. Love you. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's it's really hot at Gen Con. Okay. And uh, it's again kind of cute. Okay. So let me go ahead and bring it. It's first rat. Oh. From Pegasus Spill. Okay. Now, everybody's talking about it. You know, Pegasus Spill coming out with some games. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you. But this is your first it, rat. You kind of like it's kind of a worker placement. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have you 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 have a family of rats. <laughs> A family of rats. You're controlling a family of rats uh -huh. who is trying to build a rocket ship in a junkyard mm -hmm. trying to get to the moon. To the moon. Be the first one to the moon because the moon is a bunch of cheese. The moon is So to have cheese. a lifetime of cheese, you're trying to get to the moon. Okay. Because the moon why, got cheese. That's why you want to be the first rat to the moon. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you can that's get that. That's interesting. Because it's legendary, but you've been told <laughs> that the moon has a bunch of cheese and you're trying to get there. I mean, this may be fun. It's not, it looks no, cute. No, a lot of people say it's really fun. It looks cute. It's, it's, some, it's uh, some really simple rules that yeah. I've heard, you yeah. know, on Gen Con. Some people have been talking to yeah. some people. And they First say it's, it's, it's really simple. It's a, it's a real family game. Okay. It's a family game. So it's not that, you know, just it's, uh, it's strategic now. Mm -hmm. It's got some strategy, but it's not so hard. It's not just brain killing. Okay. It's not going to kill your brain. Well, I'm, so. I'm looking forward to seeing what yeah. First Rat puts on the First Rat. Table. So I'm excited about it. A lot of people have been talking about it. I'm excited about it. I can't it. wait to see what it brings And, and you remember uh, Dwayne from Bar uh, Blackboard Gaming? Yes. He likes this. Yes. Yes, he likes it. Now, Alicia didn't like it because it's, it's rats. There's nothing cute about rats. <laughs> I mean, it's a cute thing. The rats think the moon is made of cheese, and they are going to the. They are building a rocket, trying to get to the moon. Let me say it again. <laughs> There's nothing cute about rats. Well, I mean, they're kind of. You know, Lisa cute. didn't like the rats, but Dwayne liked it. So yeah, it's kind of cute. cute rats. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Cause yeah. you know, I, I was seeing how you know Mike and Nick from the Brothers Murph, yeah. they really like it, and, and Mike was saying, you know, he loves the rats. <laughs> you know, they're so cute and stuff. Yeah. So, you know. All right, well, we'll have to. I'm try excited. Them out. I'm excited. So is that everything? That's everything. That's what we got. Yeah. All right. So now, Starla. Okay. Where can they find these beautiful design <laughs> shirts? Well, if you would like some OFPG merch, yes. please check out our spring store. Yes. We've got Meeples for Life. Yes. We've got some Good Human shirts. Good Humans. Our, our logo shirts, our Beth yes. Sobel shirts. Yes. I mean, we've got a bunch of dice ton. and dice. A ton. You know, so check it out. Get you a board game shirt. Wear it to your favorite yes. time. Or just wear it whenever you and go out. And more coming. <laughs> more designs yes, we got coming. More designs coming. Yes. So that's where you find our merch. Spring. Yes. Now, Starla, now you know we are on the march to 20,000 yes. subscribers on YouTube. And we're getting closer each day. We're getting day. closer. Each day. Closer. And yes. we appreciate all y'all mm -hmm. for that. <laughs> but, Starla, if they got some people that they mm -hmm. tell them to go mm -hmm. find us, where can they find OFPG? Well, if you're looking for our family plays games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, yes. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yes. right here on YouTube. Right here! And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska, that's local family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8 30 p.m. That's right. And Tuesdays at 4 30 p.m. Yes, family. <laughs> thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. out again. Listen to us just talking <laughs> and just having some good old time with y'all because we really, really appreciate y'all coming out. Mm -hmm. Now, keep coming with the questions for Ask OFPG. Mm -hmm. so it can answer but so keep them coming and then also just keep coming with the uh, comments in the you know the comment section we love talking to you see what's going on but family there's just one thing and I mean one thing we want you to always know we love you bye, bye, -bye everybody. now